Well, it's Tuesday. Uh, I miss my day again on Monday. Again, like I said, if I miss a Monday, I usually put it on Tuesday. If I miss a Tuesday, then it's usually going to be something. I'll try to do something about it. I'm not sure. Again, um, we're going to start with, like I said, our questions. Still none. Remember, if you put a question down here, somewhere in the comment section, I will answer it in full detail and even put a little bit more effort into it for my next video. So remember to do that. From there we go on to what's new. You can see what's new. One of my things that are what's new is my um, Undertale poster came in. I don't know, I, I, I've always wanted an Undertale poster, so I, I kind of had to get at least one. I love the game, so definitely I would have to. Actually, this game kind of changed my opinion on some games. Actually, I was playing uh, Far Cry 4 when I just recently beat this. I, tr I played the, uh, um, the non-killing round. Passionate run, that's what it was. I did the passionate run, and... I guess when I was on Far Cry 4, all I had was hate for, you know, the dad figure. I was going to kill him. It's like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I beat this game, and I was like, you know, very close to beating the, uh, like I said, Far Cry 4. So when I went, played Far Cry 4, I sat down at, you know, the dinner table. Don't want to spoil too much. But it's just like you have a choice to kill him or listen to it. Like, listen to what he has to say. At that point, you know... I probably would have said, screw it, he's the bad guy, shoot him. But I decided to listen. And, yeah, <laughs> I decided not to kill him, surprisingly, just because of, actually, I'd say Undertale. I, I'd say it inspired me. So, from there, we're going to move on to what's new. Well, you could say I went to a pawn shop and picked up a bunch of games. So, we got a good list of games we got. Problem is, I haven't tried them out, so I don't even know if they work. should probably really try them out. But like I said, I can't even bring them back because it was a pawn shop far away. Like, two or three hours away. So first off, we're going to throw in... It will say a price on top, but it's not the real price. I actually got them all for a good, sweet deal. So we're going to start off with... I got... What they are is basically PS2 and Xbox games. So, for the non-Xbox section I have, I finally have Xbox games. And more PS3, so... Or, sorry, more PS2, so... Yeah, I just want to build that up, I guess. Starting off, we're going to have Unreal Championship 2. And, you know, I have to prove it, yeah. Book and everything. Like I said, it was going on a sweet deal. Like, they were selling all their Xbox and PS2 games, and they just don't want no more of those games. Because to them, I guess they find it's like, they're not going to sell no more. They're not actually planning not to buy no more Xbox or PS2 games. But, or sorry, they weren't planning to buy PS2, PS1, Xbox games, no more. But they're still willing to buy, you know, older generations before that. Okay. Anyway, um, Jet Li, Rise of to Honor for PS2. The game and book. Most likely, because I haven't played them, I'll probably, I'll either play it with a friend on YouTube, or I'll have somebody play it on YouTube. Like I said, I probably probably won't. Well, I might just, you know, for a quick view. But I probably wouldn't beat the game unless I really got into it. Um, the Sims 2 Castaway for PS2. The book is in black and white. Yay. <laughs> just yay. For Xbox, we got uh, Forza Motorsport. Yeah. A racing car game. So that's pretty cool. I know, I went, that, I went through that game fast. Um, Mark Eco's Getting Up X, whatever shit. I don't know. The book doesn't stay there properly because someone broke the hinges. So it's just, you know. Said. Sometimes I don't know if these games will work or anything. It's just I got a good deal on them. Uh, we got the X Squad on PS2. I tried getting more multiplayer games because I do want to play more multiplayer stuff. This is all in the game. There's no book. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution X for PS2. It says 10 bucks. Like I said, I got an extremely good deal. Actually, I paid 10 bucks for 20 games. 
That's crazy. And it has both the game and book inside. From there, we go on to uh, Outdoor Adventures for PS2. Do I even have this game? Like, some of these games, I didn't even remember if I bought them or not. Because that would really suck if I do have a few copies. I don't think I have any copies, but hopefully I don't. In here, it's just a game, no book. <laughs> this one's only two bucks. Um, I'm not going to say it because I know I'm going to get it wrong, but it's the Omega Strain. You probably just see from the front. Yeah, I have like the PS1 version of it, so I've never even played the PS1 version. And I got both the disc and the book. Like I said, very great deals on this. Like I can make some money off of these. Uh, Mech Assault 2 Lone Wolf for Xbox. It says one to two players, so this would be fun to play. Like I said, I don't have many Xbox games, so it's worth it. And I got the book kit, the bu bleh, booklet and game. From there, of course, if we were going to get this, is 007 Nightfire for Xbox. Because, you know, you need more games in a little bit. This is one to four players. So this would be a fun party game to play. From there, we go on to Midnight Club 2 for the PS2. And the game fell. I forgot, this is the one case that the middle is broken, so it's not even holding the game down. I should have probably guessed. Should be careful. Some of these games actually, uh, DB Girl picked out, so. Like, she really picked out this one because she's a fan of Star Wars. Truly, do I like Star Wars? Star Wars isn't bad. Have I watched the whole thing? No, I haven't. So I guess it's just, you know... I gotta kind of watch it all kind of thing to maybe understand a little bit more. But this is uh, Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith for PS2. Like I said, Star Wars to me as a game is pretty badass, but I have, I don't know about the show. I Don't fight me on that. Put, comment below, I don't know. Someone tells me I should do a, like a marathon of just Star Wars, watch the whole Star Wars trilogy, I don't know. Uh, from there on, for Xbox, we got Drag Racing 2004. Man, that sounds so old. And it's just the game. Like, sometimes it just feels cool to go back and play some of these games. And, of course, you know, I don't own even one God of War game. I don't think. God of War? No? God of War? No? No, I don't. I've never played God of War. I've seen my friends play God of War a little bit, like the beginning part, and I've seen a little bit of the beginning part number two, but that's about it. I've seen a little bit of one, the beginning of one, seen the beginning of two, that's it. And now i got God of War 1 for PS2. But this is probably the way I'm not going to play it. How I would play it is if I buy the God of War collection for PS3. Then I'd probably play it and go through the, you know, God of War 1, 2, and I think there's three, or is it like a bonus one? I forget what it is. Like there's different types. It's like the Assassin's Creed series where it goes 1, 2, Brotherhood, some other one, Ascension, then 3, then some other Ascension, and some other thing, and then Black Flag 4. <laughs> it's confusing. Uh, actually, a game I did kind of want, Fable for Xbox. Why did I grab it? Because you already know, I have Fable 2 right there. So, now I got like two fables, I just need a third one. And here, all it is is the game, and it actually has, somebody says, Kyle's game. Because, you know, someone wanted to write down their name on this thing. I guess Kyle got rid of it, I don't know. And last but not least is Need for Speed Underground 2 for PS2. Because, you know, who needs more racing? Both cases game. And then you're about to say... That isn't 20 games. And I will say to you, that is correct. We're missing three more. But you know what the problem with these three are? It's called I Didn't Check. Let's actually, no, let's start off with Fight Club for Xbox. Because it said Fight Club, I'm like, hell yeah. I want to play Fight Club. I open it up, what do I get? We get W Raw 2 for Xbox. Yeah, wrong game. 
That was disappointing. So I got the wrong game with the wrong K, like the wrong thing. I, I guess I could print out, you know, the real cover for this game. So that's probably what I have to do. So that's not the right game I wanted. Bionicle for PS2. Yeah, DB Girl wanted this one. But, of course, she'd be really upset to know it's only Tony Hawk's Project 8. PS2 instead. So that was disappointing. So I gotta change the title to Tony Hawk on this thing. Well, to me, Tony Hawk's not a bad game. So. But still. Last but not least. This one's probably the most saddening. But. It's not as sad as I think it is. Prince of Persia, the two ta the two thrones for Xbox. You can guess. Nothing. They forgot to put the game in. So really, I only paid for 19 games for 10 bucks, and two games wrong, and one game not even there. That sucks. I know, it sucks because now it's just like, hey, I can't play this game. Well, truly, I didn't buy this game to play, really, because... I have... Well, wait a second. Is that a different game? Okay, it is a different game, my bad. Unless I had it for PS2. Because I swear I do have this game, but it's on a different system. Or maybe I'm just, you know, thinking to myself too much. Do I have this game or do I not? And the verdict says, no, I don't. Okay. So I thought I had this game. Actually, what I have is Prince of Persia Rivals. This one's Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. Okay. So, yeah. It would have been cool if I would have had this one. Because it's something I don't own. Damn it. Well, that's even more upsetting. I just realized that now. Oh, okay, that was a big list. Like I said, I do apologize for making this video late, and I apologize for my other video being late, and yeah, it's been hectic, I know. I'm sorry. But like I said, I'm going to still try to get as much stuff done. Um, I guess for a sneak pre, I'll tell you what I've been playing. I've been playing, actually, Mischief Makers for N64. I was borrowing it, and I'm trying to beat it, and I'm recording it. So I know you guys definitely probably want to see this. You'll actually, yeah, it's probably going to be one of my best playthrough kind of things. But it's going to be on hold, because what I want to do is I want to complete it first, and then start sending it out. But like I said, that's going to take a little bit of time. And I know you guys are probably still waiting for me to beat Ateliers 3. It looks like we're only about halfway and I'm only in an episode 30. That's crazy. And I still haven't done any more episodes. Because, you know, just time and everything's been, you know. And <sighs> so, like I said, I apologize. Like I said, I'm getting trying to get things done. I've also been playing uh, Naruto on PS3. I think it's the first Naruto. It's Naruto Ninja Storm, the first one. Not, not Shippuden, but the first one, Naruto. I've been playing that at uh, DB Girl's place. So that's fun. I know I'm not recording that, I'm sorry. But, you know, that's just like a side thing I'm doing. I'm probably going to beat all the Naruto and Naruto Shippuden ones. All the Ninja Storms, probably at her place, because she has, you know... One, two, and three. She doesn't have four, but I don't know about four. I probably will probably still play it over there. I'll play it here. I don't know. I'm not going to probably not record it. Uh, stick tuned for more uh, League of Legends. That's still more to come. Uh, there's also another thing I would like to say. There's called the, the Knight Brothers. It's actually Knight Fight and... Night Fight 2 slash Rival Knight. That's his new name now, Rival Knight. Or Knight 
Revenge Night. No, it was Revenge Night. I don't remember the name. But the, the Knight Brothers. And they also are playing some N64 games for your, inter your entertainment. So, like I said, I'm getting a bunch of people jumping onto my channel and doing things for you. Because, like I said, I sometimes don't have the time for what I try to do. I know I used to have so much time. Like, I'd be recording... Like, every day I had off, I'd be sitting here recording, like, eight episodes, and I'd be like, perfect. And I'd be set for, like, I don't know, a month and shit. Now I'm way behind, and everything's pulling me back. And the only thing I could do is basically ask other people to help my channel, basically. Kind of thing. Well, not help my channel, but it's people I know around the community, and I ask them to make videos. Send them to me, and I just kind of put them up. Because we got Timber Duck, we got DB Girl, we got Night Fight, and now we got Revenge Night slash Night Fight 2, also known as the Night Brothers when they're playing together. So, yeah, we got four people on this channel, and then there's me, Riding Guy. So, that's five people trying to put videos out for you guys. So, like I said, I'm usually the one that's trying to do uh, playthroughs, like trying to beat the game. Then we got Timber Duck, which... He's trying to play Tales of Fantasia for PS or for the Super Nintendo, which it's actually in the room right now, so I can't like show it to you. But I do have the physical co the physical copy that he's playing right now. But like I said, he hasn't had time to make a few episodes. Like he still was, was trying to put that up every Saturday, one episode for him. Uh, the Knight Brothers, they'll be just doing their thing whenever they can. Night Fight by himself, he's just grabbing random PS2 games and just trying it out. Like, the last things you've seen was um, Hitman 2 he was playing. Uh, after Hitman 2, actually he only did two episodes, and now he's done, I think, with it. Now he's going to probably choose a different game he's going to play. He doesn't know yet. And then there's DB Girl, which enjoys playing League of Legends and likes to kick my ass at it. She does. <laughs> she does. And and then there's me and Timber Duck where we, uh, you know, we take a fun party game and we play as much as we can and face each other. So hopefully we can see more of that. Again, like I said, uh, each person likes their own personal thing. That's why we have different sections. You can look through our playlist and pick something you like to enjoy and watch. Uh, like I said, we're still trying to make more. I'm trying to actually get a lot more people to join in kind of thing. Because I want to make like this one of the best channels for you guys kind of thing. But like I said, it's all about... It takes time. It takes... And there's editing. There's a bunch of things. I know I don't usually edit my videos because I have a certain way that I do it. And it works out. For the other ones... for. For my other people that are helping out, they have their own way. So, it, like I said, it's really up to them. Sometimes I help edit it because, you know, they don't want to edit. I'll edit it for them. But, yeah. So, with that, guys, uh, like, subscribe. Like I, like I said again, comment below because, really, I enjoy your comments. I enjoy listening. And because, you know, sometimes I don't have enough time for this. I would like to, you know... Say something, because like I said, now I'd show you something, you know, something I own kind of thing, and it's just like, uh, it's all somewhere else, because I've been always busy, and I don't have time for anything. So, like I said, with that, I'll probably show you something else next time. If I don't got it, now we're going to switch it up to, if I don't got anything new, I'll just show you something I have. If I have something new, that's what's going to be new. Anyway, um... Like I said, like and subscribe, comment, and we'll see you on the next one. This time, hopefully Monday. I think Monday. <laughs> I think Monday. I'll, I'll try my best. But like I said, I'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.